What's up, YouTube? You're watching Explosion 35. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Explosion 35 here with another review for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Rocket Raccoon. And before we get into him, let's look at his accessories. He comes with his blaster, as you can see here. It's got a really nice wash over it. It's like a gold with a wash, and it has nice sculpting throughout, and it can fit in his hand, but only in his left hand. And he comes with his atomic blaster, um, which is really cool. You can see the one that he built. It's got nice detailing. It's got handles here. This is used mostly by Star-Lord and Drax, I believe, so he has handles here for him to hold it. Looks very cool. It's got a nice gold. It's got a nice wash on the silver, nice sculpting here. It's a cool accessory. And you can see Star-Lord holds it pretty well. And he does come with the upper chest and head of Gru. Now, in the way of sculpting, you can see his head sculpt here. He kind of has these, like, sad expressioned eyes. It is, you know, he kind of looks a little bit sad. I would have preferred a really angry face. I think they should have came with interchangeable heads with him, like, yelling. Um, but that's my opinion. He's got gold paint here. It's a little bit coming through the orange, and he's got more gold through here. The sculpting is pretty nice of the fur, though, I have to say. It does have the paint through here, the gold here, knee pads, his little tiny feet there. No peg holes at all. His tail. And he also has this cool blue dot. Nice sculpting. I mean, the sculpting is pretty nice for him. I just think the head sculpt is a little bit disappointing. Now, the way of articulation, this is where it kind of gets really disappointing. His head can look side to side at a weird, really weird angle like this. Um, and it can't really go up and down, you know, a little bit. Um, his arms can go up, uh, can do, uh, kind of like they swoop out at an angle because of his shoulder pads. Um, he can bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow. His hands rotate, he kind of has a little bit of a ball joint here, but not really, just side to side. And his tail can rotate. I would have liked if this was on a ball joint in here, so he could have a little bit more movement. And that's it. And he doesn't even stand on his own feet, really. Uh, yeah, he won't, so he kind of has to use his tail as a as a stand. Now, up to his ears, he stands exactly three and a half inches here tall. Here he is standing next to Star-Lord, and they do fit in good scale together, and I also have just reviewed this guy. So, overall, guys, I don't really think this guy's worth 20 bucks, and that's what I paid for him. I was lucky to get him when he was in stock at Walmart.com, but I don't think he's worth 20 bucks. I kind of think he's a ripoff. Um, they do give him some big accessories, but, you know, it doesn't make up for a whole entire figure. They should have gave him more articulation and everything. But anyways, guys, peace, and I'll see you later.